Hi everybody, Jill here. Welcome to a Gab Sesh. Yay! It's so wonderful to share some time with you today. I hope you found a nice little cozy corner in your home. Maybe you have a little glass of whatever you're drinking, coffee, maybe tea, and you found a little time for yourself. And if you did, I'm honored that you decide to share it with me a little bit anyway, a little bit of your time. I first you've noticed I have the back black, say that five times fast, black backdrop up. <laughs> I really love the lighting in my bathroom actually. Um, it was really pretty because I, I set it up in front of this big, big mirror, a uh, mirror, a uh, window that's in there. Um, and it, it was really nice. I didn't have to do much. Uh, I only had to do my ring light and I was good. However, it was not working out so good to do any long term filming in there. You know, I would have to roll this over in the corner and take out my filming stuff so it wouldn't get ruined, you know, when somebody took a shower and yeah, it just was starting to get old very quickly. So I decided this is actually going to be, I am in the room that is going to be my recording room. It's just needs to be painted. I ripped off a border around it, stuff's in boxes, equipment's on the floor. It, it's a mess right now. So in order to be able to do any filming in here, I had to put up my backdrop. So it's sort of blah. And I know I've gotten used to not having to use a backdrop. I'd prefer to do that. So we're gonna have to put up with this for a little while until I can get my, you know, get some painting done. It's gonna be quite an undertaking, but I cannot wait until it's done. I think it'll be really pretty. So this Gab Sesh, guys, is going to mostly, I would say 90% be uh, just kind of chatting about wigs, just little things here and there. I'm gonna share a few uh, things that I heard and um, this really awesome tip if you're a wig grip wearer that I think is fabulous. Uh, and anywho, so it's gonna be mostly about wigs. I am going to be sharing with you a little haul that I did at Ulta last night. It had to be done. I hate when I wait too long and I run out of too many products because when you get to the checkout counter, it's, it's a little frightening. It's a lot frightening. It's like, what? And I always try to add things up in my head as I go, but it's, I think it's a little denial. It's like, oh, that's gonna be fine. And then, it's not fine <laughs> anyway but so you definitely can't go into Ulta not knowing what you want you have to have a list and you gotta stick to it because if you don't you are going to forget what you went in there for and come out with stuff you didn't need and a bill that's going to shock you as well anyway how are you guys doing let me get my chair straight okay yeah, I feel crooked everything feels crooked hope you're doing well <laughs> hope everybody is staying well this is a time of year where sneaky viruses can come and get us and so i hope you're all doing well um I t so on the wig thing i'm wearing eve in venice blonde i don't remember the color code for that but uh, this is the only wig i have in venice blonde thus far it definitely is growing on me. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about the color, um, but it, it definitely is growing on me. Now, Eve here, I have a very love-hate relationship with Eve. Um, many times I, I fight with it, and I found that the only way that I really enjoy wearing Eve and feel pretty good in Eve is a lot of product. I gotta, I gotta use a lot of hairspray. Um, and I really have to style the giggy up with Eve here because otherwise it, it starts just getting very, very, very flat and I just don't look good in that. I, I'm an 80s at heart gal. I was a stylist for Pete's sake in the 80s. We're all about the hairspray and, and getting things just a little bit bigger. Anyway, so, you know, if I were to choose between Ignite and Eve, which one I like better, I think you know the answer to that. It's definitely Ignite. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's some, but yet I obviously liked it enough to purchase her again in just a different color. So now I have two Eves. <laughs> the other Eve, I cut this off. Um, 
I really don't know what they were shooting for. I, I really don't. John Renault is usually amazing. The, the shape that they put into their synthetic wigs, the cut, the just the whole, it's beautiful. This one, I just don't know what they were going for. I really don't. I, I feel like they were going for an asymmetrical look, but yet it's all the same length all the way around. Not the same length, but the perimeter is. And then you have this, this piece, just this piece right here. So I did end up cutting that off I cut it off kind of to match, you know, what was going on to this side with my shaded praline Eve, which is still wearable. It's not quite as nice, obviously, as this one. I was going to wear this one. I had this on yesterday. I recorded a, a get ready with me slash gap sesh yesterday. In editing, I just, I don't know. I just guess I wasn't feeling it. I don't know. I didn't like it, so I ended up not finishing editing it and I deleted it. So, but I wore this all day yesterday and then I texted my husband before he was getting ready to come home and said, hey, would you wanna take me out to dinner? We haven't gone out to dinner since we moved together at all, really, <laughs> since we've lived here. So um, I, you know, we figured out where everything is and where we can go. So we ended up going to Red Robin. Anyway, so I, you know, I had Yvonne all day long and it was time to get ready to go and I just wasn't feeling it. I, this is what happens with Eve. I took a, a picture of myself in Eve, uh, letting everyone know on my Instagram to keep your eye out on my YouTube channel. There's going to be a Sunday gab sesh, mostly about wigs. Um, and anyway, I, when it came down to it, I ended up taking her off and I put on my Ignite and Palm Springs Blonde some hairspray, tucked it, was ready to go. I have to mess with this wig so much, it seems like, and then I think, I, I think I'm feeling all right. And then, lo and behold, I, I just end up taking her off and wearing something else. I don't know, this is a beautifully cut wig. If this is weird, but I decided to keep this, this, this time. Um, and I just, I have to tuck this side just to kind of help out what I think they were going for here. But it is very pretty. I don't think I have loved a bang more. And you know me, I do not wear bangs. I just don't. I just think there were so many years of me not being able to have a bang with my fine hair and my, just, I, I haven't been able to wear an actual bang in my, my hair, hair for years. And even though I have a high forehead, um, higher forehead, I should wear bangs. I think I, they're, it's nice when I do, but I just, I'm not used to it. And so I can't wear them in my wigs much either. I can do side swept bangs, face framing I think is pretty, but, uh, but, uh, but anyway, this one is really pretty. It's quite, it's layered, it's um, PC. It, I can make it a side swept bang. It's not too short. So I've always loved the cut in Eve. I think it's beautiful. Um, my gripe with Eve, and this is wigs kind of across the board, actually, but it becomes more pronounced in cuts like this or like straight up with a twist. Um, those napes that aren't real close, but they're layered and they look really pretty in the beginning. But then as they start breaking down, this is also an HD fiber in the John Renault line. Um, they, they, it doesn't take long and they start sticking to each other. And so you get, when you put your head down, well, let me, let me show you. And, and I have only worn this wig, actually, have I ever worn this wig outside of the house? Yes, I have. I have, actually. But I haven't worn that that many times. But then you get this going on back there. You see, see what it does here? And, <clears throat> excuse me, there are those metal stays that you get, and this is an extended nape, so there are metal stays and you wanna crimp them, just bend them a little bit, and that does help to keep things tucked under there, but it still happens, it just doesn't matter. Um, and so, I just have to make sure through the day when I wear this or straight up with a twist or wigs like this that I, even even to, to a small extent, even my Ignite, you know, just making sure that it's just kind of, it's kind of a habit, just kind of doing this and just making sure that it's against the nape of my neck. Um, 
Do you find yourself doing that a lot since you're, if you're a wig wearer? It's, it is really probably way up on the top of the list of things that does annoy me about wigs um, is that they do that. And even if they're medium length, uh, wigs they, they sometimes still will bunch up and when you put your head down they still they still kind of do that so that's why you have to have your pick with you so you know you can every so often just kind of go through it break up those fibers separate them give them back a little bit of movement again and you really do have to do that periodically several times through the day if you wear it all day long so if you're not a wig wearer and you're thinking about it, that is one thing that is just part of it, unfortunately, but that's what it is. That's what you gotta do. So I wanted to touch bases with you a little bit on wig product and the products that I'm using right now and why I've switched to these products. So um, hairspray, now I have talked about this probably several times in different wig chats, but just in case, I thought I would talk about it again and I am needing to order more. So I used to use, and it's only because I bought kind of a kit, a starter kit, when I ordered my very first wig, is it almost three years ago now? Which uh, was Elizabeth by John Renault. Wow, you know, first of all, for somebody that knew nothing about wigs, I just hit on a great first experience, getting 100% hand-tied cap um, that, I was fabulous anyway um, so I had the John Renault starter kit anyway I used that for a long long time well the hairspray and whatnot so I, when I ran out I decided to try something else and so I tried the Beauty Mark style and hold hairspray I like this one so much better it actually behaves more like a traditional human hairspray um, the holding spray by John Renault it just didn't give me that hairspray hold that I want. This one is definitely a lot, lot closer. Um, it's not like an aerosol hairspray where it's just, you know, but it is behaves more like what I really need. So it's a little stickier. That's the trade-off, but it is a little stickier, a little wetter. Uh, but however, on this one, I do find that the mist is quite misty, which is good. It's a very fine mist. My other bottle, because this is my second one, my other bottle came out like a, you know, and I would wash this nozzle in hot water thinking it was that. It just wasn't a very good spray thing. This one's a lot better. But yeah, so this is for synthetic hair, not for human hair. And I highly recommend that you don't use product that's not meant for your synthetic fibers. But this is totally safe for HD fibers, heat friendly fibers, but they're synthetic. So um, yeah, I'm really glad I, I tried this one and it works really well. Now, does it hold in s all day? Well, I mean, the, the basicness of your style, yes. But eventually, you know, your wigs are gonna fall a little bit. And I mean, you know, the fibers are gonna fall a little bit through the day. And, um, but for the most part, it does. Now, on the line of styling and doing the hairspray and whatnot, so for my Eve, you know, I really like to get those fibers up and off the cap. So I use the wide tooth pick. This is HD fibers, very delicate, but I still go in with this and I do just the tiniest bit of back combing. Um, I don't even know if you could call it back combing, but I do a little bit of that. And you know, I'll kind of go backwards just a little bit in here, and then I'll take my hairspray and kind of, you know, help it along to stay. So I just kind of do that, separate the fibers just a little. I know, I know, you're cringing, Jill, those are HD fibers. It's so, it's not much. Um, and it does great. It's just enough to kind of keep the fibers separated from each other. And um, I don't know, but yeah, I, I have to use product. Now, when I did my wig chat on this, I don't believe I used, I don't think I used, um, dry shampoo on this Eve. I did when I got my other Eve, 
only, not because it was too shiny, HD fiber, perfectly beautiful, don't need it for shine. I wanted to use it to get a different texture so product will work a lot nicer, which that is the thing. If you do a little dry shampoo and then you use stuff like this, it's gonna do a lot. It's gonna be so much easier and they're gonna help each other out. And so I did that with my other one. But this time, I, I wanna say I did not do dry shampoo. I just did hairspray. I did a little bit of contouring cream, but I think most of that's come out. And I have not washed this wig since then. So the beauty of it is, is that I still have some of that product in here. So every time I put it on, I don't need maybe just a little, you know, foo 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 and a little bit of hairspray and it's easier and easier. Now when it's time to wash Eve, I'll be back to square one again, but I don't have to go through all of the styling every single time. You know, I don't put that much time into it when it gets on my head. With Eve, I do mess with it probably more than any of the other wigs I have, but that's just sort of across the board what happens. So anyway, if you're looking, if you're the same way and you were using the John Renault holding spray and you're frustrated with it as well, try this one. I, I can't speak for any other ones because when I run out of this one, because this is my second bottle, so maybe I'll try a different one next time and give you feedback on that. But um, so far, liking this one a lot way, way up there on the part, on the list, on that list of things that can be a little annoying with wearing a wig are the flyaways, you know, the, the pieces that just do that. This will help. Oh, and so will dry shampoo, but this does help. Um, just so you know, <laughs> does it make it go away completely? No, there's one right now that's driving me crazy, but, um, it definitely, definitely helps to put some sort of product like this um, to kind of tame those flyaways. It's a given, all the wigs do it, it just doesn't matter. Okay, so in that little starter kit that I got, I also got the HD Detangler Spray by John Renault. Now I hate, I'm not bashing by any stretch of the imagination John Renault at all. As a matter of fact, it is one of my absolute favorite, favorite wig designers, the majority Almost all of my wigs are John Renault or Raquel Welch. I have a sprinkling, very little sprinkling, tiny bit of sprinkling of other brands, but those are my two main ones. So I love John Renault, but I'm just, you know, telling you the truth. In my experience, I didn't care for the detangler spray because it did a great job detangling, but it you couldn't use much um, and it really gummed up pretty quickly. It, it would go just one use and I felt it. I felt the gumminess. I just didn't like it. But you need to do something. You need to use something, you know, in between. You need to detangle that wig and revitalize it in between wearings. After every time you take it off, you really should spray it with a little something to, to help it. Well, that something I didn't like. So I do not remember where I heard this f product, why I, I don't know if I found it on Amazon, that's where I purchase it, or if I heard it from Taz, or if it was from Nisha, or someone else. Nonetheless, I'm gonna share it with you because I do love this so much better. And it's the Revitalized Conditioning Mist by Henry Margu. I will give you the link. I hope it, you can, I hope I'll check it first, but I haven't had to order one after this. I mean, I, I have this forever, but when it does come time, I hope it's still there. I'll check. Anywho, I like this one. The mist is very, very, very fine. You can use more of it without it gumming up on the hair, you know? And uh, I would say yes, it is a detangler, but from that side, I would say I felt like the John Renault one detangled much quicker and easier, but I'm not liking the trade-off of the gumminess that it would put to the fibers. So this one's a lot lighter. You can use more of it when you're doing it. And it really does give this, it revitalizes the fibers. It really does. It kind of gives them back a little bit of softness. So the next time you put it on, you know, it feels fresher. And I did not notice that happening with the John Renault detangler spray. 
So, yes, I'm going to go ahead and put my glasses on. Am I going to do that? Did I not bring my glasses in here? Did I really not do that? Cripes. I don't believe I did that. Wait, no, here they are. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to read to you the back here. It says, created specifically to enhance and prolong the beauty of wigs and hair pieces. Revitalizes a spray-on leave-in conditioner that restores body and sheen while protecting the color from damaging UV rays. This re-energizing mist adds moisture to the fiber, making it more manageable and soft to the touch, while also helping to detangle and frizz. It recommends to hold it about 10 inches away, um, and then you mist evenly throughout the wig and work through the wig with the fingers or something like this. Uh, and allow to dry again before wearing. So don't spray this, do that, and then immediately put a net over it and stick it back in the, its box. You know, it needs to kind of air out a little bit and dry. Even though the mist is very fine, I would recommend uh, not sticking it right away back into the box after you treat it. But anyway, wanted to share this with you because I have really uh, enjoyed this. Now, I will say, that after many uses of this, because um, I use this almost every time or every other time, it depends on the length of the wig, but mostly every time I take off my wig. And I don't put a ton on, but over several uses, it will also kind of gum up the hair. And when that happens, then you know I need to wash my wig along those lines. Okay, so, oh, I might make my, microphone was way over here on my shirt. Hopefully you've been hearing me okay. Um, I was perusing YouTube. Go figure. Actually, you guys, I don't watch much YouTube much anymore, <laughs> but I have been lately and I stumbled across this channel and I, you know, it's like, oh, you just sort of hit it off right away in this little virtual bubble that you're in. And I have not talked to these women. They don't know I exist. But I still enjoyed their videos and I just sort of binge watched them for a while. And now I've subscribed and so anything new comes up and I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, channel. They don't have like an online wig store where you can order wigs online. They only have a brick and mortar shop in Dallas, Texas. So man, if you're over there, I would go in there. I, I just think they seem just very helpful, very warm and fun. And I'm enjoying their channel. It's called Mimi's Wig Boutique. And uh, they have a channel and it's uh, one gal's name is Kim, the other one's name is Misty. And they run the shop together. And so they share wigs and they always are uh, they usually do live. They, they usually go live and um, share wigs or tips or whatever. So I've really been enjoying it. I want to share that with you. So I'm, I'm watching and there was a couple things that just one particular tip that is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I have got to show you. I don't wear wig grips often, but if you wear a wig grip, you're going to want to know this, especially if they bunch up behind your ear, which chances are they do because to wear them properly, they're supposed to hold your wig, you know, down in the nape area too. What happens to me is that they bunch up so much behind my ear and it rides up and my wig will actually go under the wig grip and slowly but surely my wig grip has ridden way up here. I don't wear them for that reason. And also, a side note, the other reason why I don't like wearing them is that you can see them through your lace front or your mono part or mono tops. And you know, I pay extra, we pay extra to have your mono part, mono top or lace front. I don't want to see my wig group through that. I actually recently found something that may help us with that if you too find that annoying. So I ordered one and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, very soon. So when I get it, I'm going to be sharing it with you and I'm going to try it out first and see what I think and, uh, and let you know. But anyway, the other thing is it just gives another bit of bulk to, under my wig. And I just, I'm a, a very highly sensitive person. It, it takes me a long time to be able to get used to the fact of wearing wigs. 
Um, and so having something else under there is just it just is so annoying to me but a lot of that has to do with the fact that it bunches up behind my ear and then it does what I was just explaining to you so these gals were talking about how they had some rep come in and show them this wig grip that had um, like a notch cut out behind the ear where it would sit behind your ear this wig grip and they said the wig grip they didn't really like so much but they loved that idea so they shared uh, I, the Milano wig grip which you guys you can get wig grips that don't cost twenty dollars the Milano wig grip is is the most expensive wig, wig grip you can get and they claim it's really the best wig grip it's it's got the best holding power power and it may um, but anyway so the I did mine and I messed up on one side but that's okay so it's gonna look basically like this you know you're gonna have a little notch cut out behind your ear so you have plenty of room the wig grip then is able to settle and under the nape where it's supposed to be and you can attach your wig down there and it just is brilliant it's so simple but it's brilliant and it is it is really incredibly more it's like night and day when it comes to the comfort level it gives you it's really great and they go so far as because one side you are going to have to cut into uh, this but this is behind your ear so it's not adhering back here so they recommend that you get like a little seam ripper and remove the velcro behind your ear area because that might be a little annoying it would be for me too um, so you can just remove that and then kind of cut it off because the part that it's adhering to it doesn't seem to bother as much as if it's right here behind the ear if that makes any sense at all anyway you're going to do that on both sides so i was experimenting but i ordered another wig grip and the i ordered another one to do that on and then i ordered the one that i said i'm going and I order, I ordered the other one too that I want to share with you guys and I hope I hope it's okay but nonetheless you can do that with any wig grip that you have but I'll demonstrate next time how to do it properly it's very simple um, you may it's probably easier if you have a friend but you can do it by yourself I'm gonna do it by myself and um, brilliant great fantastic I love 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 little tips like that so you know around this time of year is usually when I start kind of rekindling my passion for wig wearing because it's cooling down um, I tend not to want to grab my my um, my hair pieces so much and I want to wear wigs again so it's you, you know and then I start itching for something new my goodness there are some new fall hairstyles out there um, there's the for instance the editors pick the whole 100% hand tied version I actually ordered that in cappuccino shaded cappuccino um, and it was on back order <laughs> you know how long it took me to get my editors pick and I'm and I knew it was gonna be on a back order I knew it wasn't it was so it didn't really surprise me but I ended up canceling it not because it was on back order but because I was watching more and more reviews and I think this is what would happen for me is because it's 100% hand tied it's probably as comfortable as ever um, however I, I can picture it laying closer to the head which is going to be fabulous but I'm afraid that it's going to give more fullness here kind of flatter here but more fullness here which is something that I kind of struggle with with my editors pick now um, so I canceled it I don't know I, you know it I think it's like $88 or something more than if you were to just get the original version which I already have so um, it's not a you know, well you know anyway I canceled it did you get your hands on one did you manage to do that do you like it uh, what are your feelings if you did sound off down below I would love to know as probably several other uh, ladies out there would probably love to read that as well okay finally oh well back on the whole thing of wanting to try other wigs um, I 
uh, I'm trying to think. There, there aren't a whole lot of fall styles that really got me excited. I got super excited about the editor's pick, but then I kind of, you know, let that slide away. Um, have you any that you have on your wish list that came out this fall? Let me know. Maybe I haven't looked at all of them. Um, and like I said, I'm just now starting to kind of get revived. So I'm just now looking into some of the new styles. So if there are some that, that intrigue you and you have on your wish list, or maybe you've already got them in your hot little hands, again, let us know down below. I would love to know. So guys, I, um, I have a makeup tutorial coming out this next week and I share with you guys a new foundation for me that I've never tried before. So it's the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Luminous Foundation and I tried it for this makeup tutorial. That It's actually what I have on now. I just recorded it before my gab sesh. It's going to be coming out next week and um, I talk about my first impressions, what I think about it, and I'm going to be wearing it all week so that I can tell you guys next gab sesh what my feedback is on it and what I think about it. So tune in next week's gab sesh if you want to find out how the week went in this uh, brand new foundation to me. So we shall see. Um, what else? Oh, I needed all my brow product. Now you probably can tell that my brows are a little darker than I normally do them. I, I actually did that on purpose. Um, when I wear the, the blondes with a little bit darker root, I felt like I still needed to darken my eyebrows a little bit. You know, technically your eyebrows are supposed to be two to three shades darker than your hair color. Um, but I think the older we get, it is nice to kind of soften them up a little bit. So this might be a little too dark. I don't know. We'll see. I still have my foolproof brow powder and palette number three, so I could still use that if I have a rooting that doesn't require them to be quite this dark. But I did get another foolproof brow powder in palette number five. I could not find a palette number four. Maybe they don't make four. I don't know. So I had that and then I needed more of the Gimme Brow Tinted Brow Gel. And last time I got four, I want to say it was four, and I really liked it. I couldn't find four, so I had to get 4.5. So hopefully it's not going to be too dark. I used it all today. We'll see. I had run out of all of this, you know, I needed my concealer, I wanted a new foundation, I needed my brow products, and I hate when I wait because then I have to get everything at once and then I am shocked when I get to the checkout line and they tell me what my total is. I had a 20% off coupon, so I thought, okay, because I kind of mentally tally things up in my head as I go along. And I thought, okay, but I have the 20% off, so that will be very helpful. And so I presented it to her and she went to scan it. She goes, oh, and I'm like, oh no, what is it? And she goes, oh, she goes, this 20% off coupon actually doesn't apply to the high end side of the store. And I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> My husband was actually with me last night. We went out to dinner and I wanted to go to Ulta after dinner, um, which is always touch and go. It's like, when I eat, I have to be careful because sometimes I have to go to the bathroom and I get a really bad stomach ache. My husband, it happens to him too. So it's like, it's a gamble if we go anywhere after we eat. I don't know if this is um, a middle-aged, older thing or if it's just us, <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a reality in our lives, okay? So anyway, but we were fine and we were very proud of ourselves. We just made it through all to just fine, made it home all good so um anyway i'm like oh shoot and my husband so sweet he's like oh it's fine it's like well thank you honey i would have got it anyway but thank you oh and then something else you guys before i go because i'm going to be wrapping this up pretty quickly here but um so you know my husband was very supportive when i wore my first wig and decided to get a wig and wear it he was very supportive at that time well that would be too long of a story anyway but it just sort of stopped there you know it's like it didn't bother him and i would have to fish for a compliment sometimes um and he would say i like your hair with wigs and without i like all your wigs and it's like okay but mm, i don't know 
if I believe you. Out of the blue never happens. It really never happens. And my husband is an amazing man, really. But um, out of the blue, we were, we were going out of Red Robin and, and he said, you look very nice tonight. And I said, thank you. And he goes, yeah, you're, I really like your hair. And I was wearing my Ignite in Palm Springs Blonde. Um, and he goes, I really like your hair. And I said, oh, thank you. That's just actually really nice to hear. Yeah, and so he complimented my my hair, my wig, and that never happens. Um, and lo and behold, you know, I was wearing my favorite, which is my Ignite and Palm Springs Blonde. <laughs> but, um, and I told him, I said, you know, the gab session that I had recorded and I told you in editing, I ended up not, it never, I didn't do it, but, um, is I kind of feel bad, I told him this, because if I go somewhere and everything, you know, I'll put my hair on and all of that and I'll do my errand and whatever I need to do and come home. I'm one of those people now that when I get home, I generally take off my hair, I get into more comfortable clothes, my bra comes off, you know, and so by the time he gets home, he never sees me made up and done, you know. I have my hair slicked back in a usually in a you know headband and my bras off and half the time I probably have my pajamas on and he never sees me you know already prepped for the day and I don't get already prepped for the day unless I have something that I need to prep for but um anyway I was telling him that and he's like he just laughed but so that was nice it really did make my night it really really did anyway I don't know why you know I'm gonna wear my wigs no matter what but you know when you're significant other compliments you and it's very nice all right guys i'm gonna just wrap this one right up and um please tune in next week if you like this makeup look my eyes were out of the anastasia anastasia gosh darn it i do not know how to pronounce that um, the soft glam palette here beautiful absolutely gorgeous palette my goodness stunning palette beautiful Anyway, if you're interested, keep a lookout for that one next week. And I hope to do another one. I'm, I'm starting to get in the swing of it. Um, you know, I've recorded lots of them and I have not finished editing them because I don't like them. I'm a little out of practice, I can tell. So anyway, I'm, get, I'm getting in the swing. I definitely am feeling energized and recharged about my channel. And um, you know, I'm, I, I can feel it. I'm gonna be ordering a couple new wigs. It's gonna happen. And so we're going to have, I'm sure, some wig chats coming around the corner too. It's, it's winter coming up. Fall is here at least and the temperatures are more conducive to me to be able to feel great and, and pretty comfortable in my wig wearing. So, all right. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you caught this toward the end of the day, you make sure you have a great evening and sleep well. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.